I am coming to you from Woodburn, Oregon. So I'm over at the Factory Expo and today we are going to be taking a look at this guy behind me here. It's the Quartzville model. So follow me in. If you haven't visited our channel before, make sure you, that you hit the subscribe button so that you're notified anytime a new video is released. Um, and also make sure that you give us a thumbs up so we know which content is resonating, which one isn't. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look. So we're gonna take a look at Quartzville. Really excited to look at this one. Look at how large it looks just from the outside. Okay, so let's walk on in. And so we have here, I imagine there's multiple entrances. This is the one that we're gonna go through. You can see here just the rest of the living area. So it almost looks, feels almost like you have a formal living area. Hmm. I'll, as we kind of go through, we're both checking this one out for the first time together. As you're walking into the home and you're already past the entrance, here we go to the kitchen and look to my left, straight ahead from the kitchen is almost like another seating area. So this is really, really neat. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the kitchen in more detail and then we'll kind of figure this out together. All right, so I see that we have an island and it looks to be some storage here. And there's the cabinets. Kind of uh, being quiet just because I'm taking it all in. I'm a little shocked at how large it is. I don't think I was expecting that at all. So this home here, it's about 1,550 square feet, just shy of that, 1,546 is what they have it marked at and three bedrooms, two baths. Look at this pantry. It is a full walk-in pantry. Yep, any home edit fans? I mean, this would make great area for you to organize it and create a bunch of TikTok videos on how beautiful your pantry is. Here's a side-by-side -side refrigerator. nice like all of the trays and organization and then here you can get your water um, and ice and just look at your refrigerator temperature there too that's neat isn't it so you have your microwave oven um, microwave hood excuse me microwave hood here and then you have your electric stove look at the sink Wow, it's not nice. I like this, it won't scratch easy. Here's the laundry room, and this is the area here. So plenty of space for a washer and dryer, and you have some storage, and there's a vent. So there's ventilation up above as well. So I wanna give you a glimpse of that. And then I'm gonna show you here there's like this area here you can almost just create like a folding station if you wanted to or if you'd use it for something else there's a door there so that could also be like a drop zone um, so you could put rain boots umbrellas raincoats that kind of stuff there if you want and then this is the dining area it's really big nice sliding glass doors and I want to highlight here just the island. So the island you can see here you have two stools, fits well, there's plenty of space there for the two. And then you do have two cabinets as well. Let's go into the next room. So we have a mixture here of um, vinyl flooring with carpet. So it looks like some living areas are gonna be, well, actually all the living areas are carpet. I mean, I guess that's why we're here touring, right? <laughs> Take a look at all of these features, but look at that. Oh, how cozy. It's a winter day here in Portland. So this would just be so nice to just be cozying up in this room and just relaxing. But like one of those like Netflix days, you know, binge watch some show. Okay, so really nice. Um, a nice amount of windows as well. Plenty of outlets in here. It looks like we have some guest bedrooms. Okay, so something of note is that the vents are all on the ground. 
Let's go ahead, I'll open the other closet. I'm pretty sure they're about the same. Oh, look at that window space up above the shower and tub. Nice mirror. Let's take a look in here. Wow. Okay, so this is a good size bedroom. So yeah, both bedrooms are, I would say, equal size. They feel like they're about the same, maybe maybe an inch or two, you know, like a couple of inches or a few inches of difference, but it won't be significant. So uh, whoever's getting the guest bedrooms, it'll just be a matter of preference. All right, let's go ahead and walk on in to the other side. Okay, so there's the door that I came in through. So we just did the left side of the house. Um, when you come into the entryway, if you go to the right, then you would end up in this primary bedroom. And look at how large this is. Oh, wow. Okay, so to give you an idea here, you could easily, easily and comfortably have a California King and you could fit a dresser. They have a chest here, but you could easily do a dresser. Or if you wanna keep it with a chest, you could do a seating area here. So you could have um, a nice chair, like a reading chair here, and it would not feel crowded at all. Like there's plenty of space for that. The only thing you'll have to keep in mind when setting up this room is, as I've mentioned, just the vents. So you'll wanna make sure that those aren't obstructed um, because when you do want to use the heating. Oh, and one thing I should note here as well, look at this. You have the vents up above as well. So if you wanted to have cooling, it's already there. It makes it a lot easier for you to, to add in an AC. We'll check the specs on this one. It probably already has that. Okay, so here is the primary bathroom. So you've got the dual vanity sinks and mirrors. Yay, yay. And look at all of this. So each under each sink, there's cabinet space and you have the drawers. So lots of storage just right out of the gate um, in this. And it's a shower stall. You know, I think for me personally, I prefer showers. I, I don't really use bathtubs. So I like the idea of having a shower like this and then as opposed to having a bathtub or an open bath and then shower. Um, and look at this linen closet here. This is big. So there is lighting here. If you wanna get fancy, you could probably add a chandelier and make this like a big, nice dressed, um, like a dress room. And you can organize your closet. You could fit so much here if you added some drawers and some racks just um, repositioned the rack that's here add in some others you have electricity so there's just a lot of options here of things that you can do so what did you think of the quartzville here and um, this was a really big home there is so much to see here that well i tried to show you as much as i could but i didn't list out all of the features and benefits so for that make sure that you click on the links below because i did include or we did include um, links to the site, the floor plan, and a full list of the features and benefits. In addition um, to that, you can also leave your questions and comments down below in the comment section. We review them as we can, and we'll take a uh, look at them and reply to you as soon as we can. Um, again, this is the Quartzville. So this one here was just over 1,500 square feet, almost 16, so it's like 6, 1546. Three bedrooms, two bath homes. So pretty substantial here um, and by Fleetwood out in Woodburn, Oregon. Until next time, I'm Giselle with ManufacturedHomes.com.